we're going to end it off here. We've been talking for about a month now. This It's never been done in the podcast community. Recording for one month straight. That's right. We did this. Us three, the Coop Scoop. We recorded for one month straight. And now we're finally giving you guys the content you've been wanting. We're the pioneers of the podcast community. That's the scoop. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. All right, I stopped recording. All right, I stopped. Yeah, I stopped mine. Okay, I got to edit that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's up? I think I forgot to hit record. What? What do you you mean you didn't hit record? I think I just just didn't. I just forgot. Like, you... You but like the bar moves and, and like how did you not? I just minimized it because I thought you know we we just move on. It's a month. Yeah. Well, now the month is in the t- fucking trash. What are we gonna use? Greedy. Oh. <laughs> no, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were doing the greedy anymore. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Croup Scoop. I'm your host, Croup, joined by Blinky Please, also known as Jeffrey. Hey there. And Hane, also known as Hane Kai. Hello. We're back. We're back. Yeah, look at we us. We're back. back. It's been it's been like, what, a month? Yeah, yeah. since we last recorded. It's been a while. Um, What have you guys been up to since since this whole, since we last recorded? You know. You know. <laughs> Fortnite, yeah, dude. Haynes been playing Fortnite. He bought a battle pass and everything. He bought the battle yeah. pass, man. Yeah, I've never bought the battle pass in my entire life, or, or really play Fortnite. I played Fortnite like maybe in like the first season for like a week. I played um, it for like I'm a back. second I'm in high school, it. and then I quit. Yeah, that's like that's like the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I was. I think one of the bigger reasons why we haven't been recording is because I was in the process of moving and as you can tell i'm in a i'm in a completely different environment right now i went from california to wyoming um Epic took upgrade. a took a took a whole road trip out there <laughs> darn road trip, with all my dude. stuff in the car we stopped in las vegas on the way up and spent a day there hung out with my friend frank for a bit went went to the strip did you gamble went to the m&m store what did you gamble no, I didn't have money to gamble. That's fair. I didn't have shit. But um, yeah, we went to the M M&M and M store, the Hershey store. Went to the uh, Bellagio. I think it's what it's called. It's oh, got yeah, like it's the like that big hotel, right? Yeah, it's got the, it's the big hotel, and it's got like the the huge like fountain mm. or whatever. Like it shoots water out of the. It's it's cool. Yeah. So we did that and. And then we just, we drove like what twelve hours the next day to get here. That's crazy. And now here, Damn, here I am. Big. It's been it's a long drive. It's definitely been different from California. There's like it's definitely a smaller town, less cars. People drive slower. Um, it's cozier though, right? Cozier, yeah. The environment's different. Like everything's all green and. Oh yeah, the weather's well, nice. <laughs> there's yeah. grass and shit. That's crazy. There's deer just walking around. I, I fucking I killed a deer. Walk it, walk I, I ran. I drove and already. Deer. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, talk- I'm saying I've done it before. Oh, Not okay. yet. Maybe it'll happen again. Who knows? You know, you, you definitely have to watch. I I'm always paranoid, especially during deer season. Have night. you had any close calls? I've had a, I've had one close call. I was driving. This one deer was just in the, I mean, he was just in the road. He didn't, he didn't like jump out or anything, but I had to, you know, slow down, just drive around him. But it scared me. <laughs> yeah. So the closest I've been to a deer was I was walking in a, in a state park the other day because I thought it would be fun. And it's like a big forest. And I was just walking and I turn around, I'm like, oh shit, there is a deer right there. And then I got lost for two hours because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've never been like lost in a the woods before. It sucks. Cause you just have to like walk around. That's kinda scary. And you're just like, oh my god, is this is this the same like fucking tree that I was at earlier? <laughs> That's crazy. You could have just been lost forever. Mm. Well, I was like, got out. yeah, I was like on a path. I just forgot which parking lot I was in, so I didn't know what way to go. But I I, I found my way out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 
So I was, yeah, I was lost in the woods for a couple of weeks, and that's why I wasn't recording. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I got stuck in Vegas for a month. Mm-hmm. But it's all in, good. I was in Indiana or something like that. Yeah. Hey, was oh, like yeah, you Indiana, ended up in Indiana and, and Kentucky. What the hell were Wait, you doing Wait, what? There? I didn't so, hear about this. So <clears throat> Caitlin, Caitlin's mom's friends came over for um, just, like, hang out with her with them and they wanted to like drink and stuff because i don't know what they were celebrating i don't know someone's birthday maybe so like for th- three days we were their dds oh. around like the tri-state area and they were like going to cincinnati because caitlin's mom's boyfriend is in cincinnati it was just like man it was nuts and i mean i didn't I, it was just it was whatever i didn't get to like do anything i was just there you're just the con the the chauffeur yeah, I was. Just, I mean, I didn't. I didn't really drive that much either. Was, mm. Did you see anything cool? Or you're just hanging out. That's cool. I don't know what I saw. I, you went to a cryptid museum or something? That was in Michigan. Oh, 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 oh yeah, Michigan that's right. He too. also he was also in Michigan too. He was all over the Traveler. place. Traveler. <laughs> was another surprise party visit thing. I don't know. I just I'm just going. You're just around. But um, yeah, it's really not that interesting. So I don't know. There's not much to say about those trips. <laughs> I really didn't do anything. I was just there. I you was like, I, there's like no I, like attractions you went to. You didn't go. To well, like in Michigan park? it was nice. It was like this like lake area, right? And like there was we went to a cabin like on. It was like right next to a lake, so like you'd walk out the front door and like yeah, the Crystal lake was right lake. there. And then yeah, yeah, and then you you could they had like kayaks and stuff, so that was fun, right? It was just it was it's just it's really not that interesting. Nothing really. I can't think of anything like super crazy that happened podcast worthy news but that's what i've been doing for like a month you know mm-hmm. just random shit yeah uh, he's just he's just been all over the world yeah i'm thinking i'm, I'm thinking about going to going to north carolina for no reason i'm gonna drive down there whoa just to say i was there You're record crazy. a podcast episode on the beach or something yeah. I don't know. yeah there you go and then I'll, I'll go to like i'll go to like nebraska yeah i'll, I'll court in some town <laughs> over there yeah i'll go to i'll the go to the asian guy in there yeah. Yeah, and then ooh, 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 and then I'll go to Oklahoma and I'll go to like some very small town and they'll be like, "What? What's this guy doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What the? What the hell? Is this guy, what the hell is this guy doing in here? <laughs> All right, they're gonna be like, wicked, right. <laughs> wicked blackface, brother. I didn't even. You almost look like a real one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of the human psyche, let's talk about our weekly balls news. Let's talk about the Minions movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a terrible seg- segue. Did any of you guys see it? I, no. I haven't seen it. I didn't go it. see that shit. I'm, I'm voting with my wallet. No more Minions, damn it. <laughs> so, like, I think the big thing is it's just the people who are going to see it. Like, you see all these people, all these, like, like TikTokers or like you know, young kids are just going with like suit and tie, and like with their group, like a uh, friend group. Yeah, it's yeah. it's like funny, right? Yeah. But I don't know. I, so I saw this one TikTok of someone that, that worked at a theater, and she was like, and she was like cleaning up after these like fucking like millennial, like not millennial Gen Z kids, and they just leave like the worst mess every time, like the old yeah. like and. I don't know. Something about that. Like, but you don't get enough time off. to clean that stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. They're already, like, going to be, like, annoying, <clears throat> right? Like, like just, like, a group of kids, like, wearing a suit and tie, watching the Minions movie, being loud during the movie. Yeah. But, like, if you're going to leave a mess and be annoying, like, fuck you. Why are you doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, who's, like, buying popcorn, like, for the Minions movie? Like, are you... Just to throw it You're around. really that gonna enjoy yourself that much? <laughs> well, yeah. I've seen videos of people like standing up, like in front of the screen, like moshing in front of the movie. Yeah, I saw that clip. They were like just all like they're having a dance party in there, yeah. in front of the screen. Like people cheering and like dancing and like yeah, like it's it's cause like, what the hell? It, what kind of reality do we live in? Man? It's the one up. It's kind of funny. It's weird, <clears throat> but like that's I don't know. It's just to me, it's just like. It, you're just giving more money to fucking Illumination. Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? They broke box office records. They, 
They like were... Minions on its own would have made a lot of money just by because of the kids and adults that go see it. But this included, like, it's just, it's breaking numbers, man. Well, they know that, that Gen Z would, like, freak out about it because they put, like, well, Minions is already, like, a funny thing, right? So you, go, you make fun of Minions. But then they had, like, Yeet, like, do a song for, yeah. like, the Minions movie. They're, and, like, the that's, they're, they're, like, they're that? obviously targeting towards, like, no, the song Gen is, Z. It's... So you're kind of, like, just playing into, like, their... Into like their yeah, trap, like, so it's not like that. It's not that interesting. Yeah, seeing you're just them like go dancing out, dancing into the lair of illumination. Yeah, dude, the Yeet song sucks. <laughs> oh wait, I think I know what that song. Yeah, he treat. He said yeah, I, he I, said I've something like, that. "I treat my minions like my children. I treat my children like my minions." He says that in the song, and he's yeah. like, also, he's like, "Yeah, I called him a minion." He said like that, and then it's like an actual clip of a minion talking. He's like da da get up. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. It's just like... Have you seen the soundtrack for the movie? Like, all the people that are on it? Dude, okay. Thundercat. um, Phoebe Bridgers. Damn ass. (laughs) Brock... I think Brock Hampton is on it. Oh, boy. St. Vincent. Brock Hampton? Just, like, a bunch of big artists that are, like, big with, like, Gen Z. It's just, like, so darn targeted. It's ridiculous. It's it's annoying. And and the more annoying part is that people are just like, (laughs) oh, yeet. It's like they're that's what they're going for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let, let's go to the theater and dress up in a suit and be funny because that's I don't know, it's not funny, it's not interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's It's also why Mor- Morbius is getting a sequel too because of the memes. Like they saw that there's just so much attention on Morbius that they're making a sequel now. They're so not self-aware. Remember when they released more? They put Morbius back in dude, theaters it and it bombed like, again. Yeah, Morbius, dude. <laughs> Morbius executives are punching the damn air right now, watching the minions thrive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw. I saw another like, petition after Morbius got released a second time that was like, "Put it out again." We were all busy that weekend. We're gonna <laughs> we'll show up this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to like get them to. Put That'd it be out so funny time. if they did that again. I wish. It's my dream. <laughs> Did Morbius make money? Not really, right? No. <laughs> like, it's so famous. I thought but it... it's not like nobody wants to go see it. Everybody knows it's gonna be shit. It's yeah. It's. There's... I'm sure the Minions movie isn't as bad as Morbius. Yeah, because the Minion like all the Despicable Me movies are like actually pretty decent kids movies, but the Minions are just like annoying and very memeable. Yeah, because they're it's just minions as main characters. Like nobody wants to actually see them as the main characters. Yeah. Like it's just yeah. annoying. Banana? Banana Yeah. The minions. But it worked and they're rich and they're laughing to the bank and Minions Three is coming. Whenever they can think of how to make it not like the same exact movie. <laughs> <coughs> it's crazy. <laughs> well, speaking of other shit going on in hollywood have you guys heard about ezra miller i've heard briefly about ezra no. miller but i know some sh- i just know some sh- some shit's going down yeah so yeah ezra miller as some of you may know he's the guy who played the flash and the dc movies but he was also in perks of being a wallflower i forget which character he yeah. was oh is he like the the team guy like the <laughs> the one that's not the main character that's like gay and stuff that yeah one. i think he was the gay guy yeah 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 i remember that character i don't remember that character yeah so yeah ezra miller he uh the, they've been um charged with like i don't know there's just there's just a lot of shit so if, here's the craziest thing all right so ezra miller has kidnapped kidnapped three kids and a mom and they're on a they're on a farm in Hawaii that has with weed. They're growing weed there, and they've got a bunch of guns, a bunch of guns. All the kids are under age ten. What the um, fuck? The fathers are trying to get trying to get them out of there, but they can't. Um, Ezra Miller's been arrested in Hawaii twice already. One for uh, where is it? Where's the exact thing? Uh, fuck. Where is it? I don't know. One was one was misconduct, and the other one was like, like sexual misconduct. I think so. And then the other one was like, uh, violence. Like, 
armed battery. I don't know. Yeah, yeah like something that. like that. Yeah, I think. I mean, really and he's insane. done this before. Remember that video that came out when he choke slam a fan? Like he grabbed her by the throat and like just like slammed her on the. I do not remember that. There was a I video of him doing <laughs> I that. I do not remember that. <laughs> There's also another video where he goes up to a fan and he's like, he's like, yeah, you know, I could, I could like beat you up and you know like, or something like that. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh wait, 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 wait. Ezra Miller is also non-binary, by the way. Pronouns they them. I just remembered that. Oh, they, 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 them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. About I didn't know that. I, f- I forget about that sometimes, because I've been, I've been seeing so, the yeah. ones, and I, I didn't realize that they were non-binary. But I, I, so I don't know. I just don't know. They kidnapped kids, and you said that the parents can't get them back. I think the mom uh, is there, right? The mom's there. The father wants the kids back. Um, but there's multiple parents that have restraining orders against Ezra Miller for grooming their kids. So like I was he's know, done just, other shit he, with kids in the are, past. Are they how are they not in jail? Are they? Are they in jail right now or like No arrested? Nope. Huh? No, they're just out. Oh, they're huh? out. I think and I saw something of them posting shit on Instagram like taunting the authorities. Where it's like I I'm gonna live forever or something it's like you'll <laughs> never catch me. And I'm like what? I'm just I I don't know what's going yeah. on. I'll just huh. see like a random headline like actor Ezra Miller kidnaps three children, assaults man in Texas. It's like what? <laughs> Wait, yeah. Same. The flash. And here's the crazy thing: Warner Brothers hasn't said a single thing about it. Um, Ezra Miller's got a movie coming out, a Flash movie coming out. Oh. And so they haven't said anything about the controversies. The, I think they did. They like they like stopped production, but now it's like back. Like they keep going back and forth. But as of right now, it's still going to come out. Gosh. That's- I don't know. Maybe like there's like a theory where people think that um, Warner Brothers is trying to keep Ezra Miller free right now until the movie comes out. <laughs> like That's the insane. cops and Warner Brothers are working and together. They get Ezra Miller. Because so, really they dumped a lot of money on the movie. <laughs> I see that but happening. Like, yeah, that's insane. People are think, thinking thinking Warner Brothers is trying to protect Ezra Miller, well, and yeah. that is why there hasn't been any legal action taken against Ezra Miller yet. Yeah. Well, Flash is a DC movie, right? Yeah. They need a W after the Amber Heard stuff. <laughs> they're taking. They're un- unfortunate for them. Yeah, they got <laughs> Amber Heard and Ezra Miller. Yeah, two of their actors are just like having really really rough times in the court of public opinion (laughs) oh yeah and here's the crazy thing the the farm ezra miller's farm is not licensed like they're not allowed to grow weed there (laughs) so like what the fuck why 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 are they still like walking around free yeah something's going on there dude i'm I'm a there's like there's supposedly like allegedly like pictures of like the kids on the farm with like holding guns or like one of them has like a bullet bite like biting a bullet on their in their mouth and there's like plush toys with guns next to them like somebody's got to do something man this What's this going on this is going to get really bad real quick like I think a very strange time in human history <laughs> yeah like what's going on I don't know I feel like if the cops were to invade the farm Ezra Miller might be crazy enough to shoot back probably like, I I think so. Like, I think it might result in some kind of shootout, and like, huh? It just, it just would not be good for the kids there. So yeah, there's a uh, man. That is, that's still so one. insane. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. There's, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of shit. There, there's more. There's even more, but that uh, would just take too long. There's just too much. There's just a lot going on with Ezra Miller right now. But on a lighter note, why don't we go into Stranger Things? Because <laughs> that also has been happening recently. Yeah, unproblematic actors in Stranger Things. So, so uh, me and Jeffrey watched it. Hayne hasn't watched it. Um, we're going to do like a kind of non-spoiler review slash thoughts on it. And then, yeah. So what do you think, Jeffrey? I the- think... Season four as a whole. I think season four as a whole is the best Stranger Things has ever been in its entire run as a series. Because I think they finally nailed down, 
or they finally figured out that they don't have to be like this crazy serious show but so long as they like <clears throat> deliver the fun and like go over these like 80s sci-fi topics people are going to be interested and people are going to come back and watch it every time with yeah, like yeah. the the stuff with 11 and like the psychic training stuff is cool the like there's, and there's they just they were like well we're gonna just split up our characters and put them into like a bunch of different places all the stuff going on in hawkins yeah. i like that it's more horror this time around the main villain me too vecna kind of reminded me of freddy krueger a little bit yeah they even like directly reference nightmare on elm street by bringing back the actor for freddy krueger you know the dude in the jail cell with his eyes Oh, he! I, that I was remember him. seeing that. That was him. Yeah, that's crazy that yeah. they did that. But I, I like this season because the other seasons they've all just kind of been split up in the town. Mm-hmm. But this one, they're kind of just like just they're all over the place. Like some of them are in Russia, some of them are in California. One of them is in the fucking desert. One of them is like there. Some of them are in the town. It's just like it's everywhere. I, I, that's what I liked about it so much. Mm-hmm. Like it's it felt more. The scale felt way bigger than the other seasons. Yeah. And they still managed to, like, tie it all together in a neat bow for the finale, which I was very surprised. And they did a good job making – they've kind of – because I know the series started out that they were supposed to just do season one and then, like, do something else with the show and, like, move to a different cast of characters. Like, But they were, like – they kept it greenlit with the same characters because everyone really liked the kids. So for them to, like – yeah. I feel like they were kind of just like floundering for season two, honestly. And then season three, they started figuring out what they were going to do. And then this season is where they're just like, Zoop! and it was all this. And this is all going to end next season. And it like makes sense. And I'm surprised that they were able to do that very well. Yeah. Yep. And they, they do take some risks too with uh, characters. Yeah. I'm, I'm, there's uh, some characters that, uh, well, I won't say. Them, but, yeah, yeah. No, no spoilers, no spoilers. You just, you got to see it. I think season four is, yeah, definitely the best season. If I were to rank the seasons right now, I'd probably say season four is the best. Mm-hmm. Season three is second best. Mm. Season one, and then season two being season two kinda, the worst. Kind of sucked, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we I recommend. I have seen any of them. Hey, but you know what you have seen? You might enjoy it. You know what you have seen? Chip and Dale Rescue <laughs> Rangers. <laughs> oh! All right, welcome to Croup Reels, our our segment where we talk about movies that we recommended. And last time, Jeffrey recommended Chip and Dale <laughs> Rescue Rangers. <laughs> what you guys All right. What did you guys think? <laughs> no. I hate it. <laughs> Really? Okay. I don't know. I'm the hot. I'm, okay. I'm the hot it. taker. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hate myself watching the movie. I hate it. But I didn't. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I like. It's just. It's not something I would ever want to watch like again. But it wasn't like. I wasn't like. Oh my god! I want this to be over. Like. No, I wasn't like that. But. It was just. I don't know. It's just. It was kind of just nothing to me. Well, to be just honest, whatever movie. yeah, when I picked this movie, I assumed it was just going to be really, really, really bad and I was going to hate it. And I picked and I think it was I lost the, we <laughs> lost the coin flip and got the other this one. But I was actually surprised because it's like a it's like it's a darn kids movie. So I'm not like the target audience, but I was surprised that it's able to like do some of the stuff it does. Like with the even with like the ugly Sonic character being in the movie, that's insane. I'm, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's a movie. I'm surprised with. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm surprised that it's not just Disney like references. Like they did more. They put more stuff that wasn't just Disney. So, cause I I initially thought from the trailer that it was just gonna be Disney stroking their cock, showing how many things they own. Kind of like what they do with Ralph breaks the internet. Like, hey, look, we own Star Wars. We own Muppets. We own. We own Marvel. We own pr- the Disney princesses. Like, look at all the stuff that we own. Mm-hmm. But like th- this was like different. Yeah, I just think the movie was able to make a somewhat decent product out of a concept that is very rooted in the like, oh multiverse, oh nostalgia, oh show as many characters as you can to the audience to make them like you. Like from that like stupid trend that's happening in movies, whoever wrote it was able to like write something that wasn't absolute total horseshit. But 
it's still it's it's definitely the best of the of these kind of movies. Mm-hmm. Hayden, why do you hate it? Er... I just disagree. I think <laughs> I think it was awful. I still I thought, I mean, yeah, I still think. <laughs> I thought the writing was bad. I thought the story was uninteresting and boring. I thought the references were just shoehorned in. It felt it was like it reminded they got it, real, it, they got real bonkers toward the ends with the with the with the references it, like they could not they would not stop with the references. Yeah, it felt to me it felt like it gave me Ready Player One flashbacks. It was <laughs> oh, no. if I was a super Disney fan, I would have been insulted because like it's just like oh look oh you like uh, Dumbo or whatever you know what I'm saying it's just like it it was it was more I don't know something about it just like really pissed me off like because Disney just owns everything. And just seeing like all these like fucking, I don't know. You think I'm fucking stupid? You know, like I I'm t- <laughs> I, I think at this point like I'm just tired of like all these like multiverse movies. Yeah. And, like all these yeah, movies that try to like put everything in within like one movie. It just just to get people to like you know come their pants because they saw fucking <laughs> I don't know what else. What did they see? Fucking Slinky. He Man was there. Some, it was just it was stupid. It was just. <laughs> Some parts of the movie, like the animation, looked bad. Like it, yeah, it, yeah, it really, it looked. There terrible. was a part with the there was a Muppet character that wasn't an actual puppet; it was an animated thing. Was that the I chef? I thought that looked. Or was that something else? Yeah, the chef. The that chef? wasn't actually a puppet. That they just animated it. Huh. That was interest. That's an interesting choice. I will say, like, yeah. it's still. I still wouldn't say it's like a great movie. I, I'm I just I, I'm surprised that they were able to create what they created with the concept that it's a world of Disney characters. It's like it, it's like it it was kind of like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but not as fun. Yeah, I or not. I want to watch like who, it makes me want to watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit again because I'm yeah. like, yeah, well, this definitely just is like a straight like idea rip from this, but. Roger Rabbit was in the movie too. Yeah, he was. They showed him in the movie too. A little reference. Of course they did. Like the story, I think like they were trying to like go for like, oh, this is, this is like a clever little thing that we're doing with the whole like this concept that they have with like the the cartoon characters being like, I don't even remember what what happened in the movie. It was like they're like part of the real world, or and they're like actors, right? Yeah, like. One of them got the CGI surgery. It, like it's like it's, a commentary on like live action reboots and stuff. And if you think about it for one second, it's just like not that clever of a concept, and it's just like it's not that yeah. interesting. It's like <laughs> it's like yeah. You know? Okay, we're making fun of how like corporations will will remake stuff, but then here they are doing it right now. Yeah, they're yeah. like trying to be self aware, like, but it doesn't it doesn't work when you when you're the the biggest person in the it just doesn't work i don't know yeah, it's it just boring yeah. weird that it's coming from actual disney that they're like trying to be like yeah like why are we doing this haha oh my gosh like why are there so many reboots and it's like and then they'll keep they'll keep doing well, here it. it is and then also you're gonna keep doing reboots i do yeah like i think the concept itself is the worst part about the movie and and it was insulting <laughs> I, it was just did you like, <laughs> I didn't feel insulted, but okay. What do you got? How did you guys feel about the vil- main villain, Peter Pan? Peter Pan. It was. I think that was supposed to be like a big like. Oh my God, he's fat. Like yeah, he like he he he, he like uh, after the movie he just went downhill. He's the whole he. It's he just like not, he grew up just, and then everyone didn't want him anymore because he's not a he's not a kid. Just it's also you know what's crazy about that though. What. That that's actually kind of uh, a fucked up thing that Disney put in the movie, because the original Peter Pan voice actor, as soon as like when as soon as he grew up, they kind of just like stopped putting him in in Disney stuff. Yeah, and like he fell heavily into like drugs and like shit like that and eventually like i think he committed suicide or something oh, i got a reference on him That's so i think this is. was a reference to that and disney was kind of just like making fun of that it's kind of fucked up i don't I, in a way it's fucked up. i'm surprised that this movie i don't know if you guys got, knew about that I, I didn't know about that but i'm surprised this movie even yeah. got greenlit because like there's so many things in it that are like directly poking fun at like disney's business practices itself like disney is yeah. the biggest proprietor of like this multiverse like 
Ooh, all these ca- everyone's here. <laughs> Ooh, you want to watch? Yeah, remake. Yeah, we got a reboot. Action. This. Like they like. There's no new. I- there's like not that many new ideas coming out of Disney. They just keep buying things that people like and enjoy, and then pumping out more of it. So the fact that this movie came from Disney is surprising. <clears throat> yeah, but that was that was like their whole. I don't know. It just seemed like they were trying to do that because it was like they were self aware. They're trying to look. Hey guys, we're self aware. Mm-hmm. But it's just like yeah. fuck you. Yeah. yeah. I don't, literally yeah, fuck you if i were disney i wouldn't have put it out but didn't affect them so <laughs> they're still rich as frick well, uh, there were so many like jokes in that movie that made me like cringe <laughs> which like, ones i mean like the one in the trailer like where they were like i don't remember they're they just like talking and then they started like talking over each other and then they're like oh. oh my gosh we're like this, this in sync it's like, oh you remember that that part with the the freestyle rap uh, oh. <laughs> oh god the movie was I, just I so like cringe part. like i can't like i don't, I don't know like, how to explain it it was just cringy i don't know do we want to do we want to go through each part of the movie and break down what yeah. sucks and what is not sucks about it yeah let's go through it let's go through it. all right well i've okay dear viewers i've got a plot synopsis pulled up on wikipedia and we're gonna go paragraph by paragraph Starting with, I think this one's just the setup. In a world co-populated by humans and cartoon characters, Chip and Dale meet in elementary school and become best friends. They later relocate to Hollywood and after casting as extras in commercials and shows, go on to star in the successful television series Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers in the early 1990s. When Dale gets his own show, (laughs) Double O Dare, or Dale, oops, the two have a falling out leading to their both shows cancellation. So that's just like the setup, like the first, like, 10 mm. 20 minutes of the movie and i thought not a bad setup not a bad setup yeah if i'm being honest with you not too bad like yeah it's just, it kind of hooks you in like all right show got canceled they haven't talked to each other in years all right let's see where this goes so i, I didn't think that part was necessarily bad i think it just gets worse and worse as it goes on yeah in my opinion. one thing i really when I, w- I was struggling to keep up with which chipmunk was which at like the very start yeah me too because i was like Ugh. yeah, yeah um, i couldn't it was, I was really like, fast in the beginning i thought the pacing was like crazy in the beginning like really fast yeah, like, yeah it was like it's hard to figure out the hell's going on yeah i think that's i think why they did the cgi surgery thing is because it's like which one is which who are who are you people like because i could not tell which (laughs) i did like i didn't even know like later on in the movie they're talking about the beginning and i'm like oh wait he's he was the one who who helped him i thought it was the other way around like i don't even i don't remember anymore because it's been a while since i've seen it but like (laughs) yeah whatever it's it's fine as a setup it's like like any other movie so paragraph two after the time skip 30 years later chip is a successful but disillusioned insurance salesman while dale spends most of his time on the fan convention circuit the two are contacted by their former co-star monterey jack who owes money to criminal valley gang to the criminal valley gang due to his stinky cheese addiction Monty warns the pair (laughs) of a trafficking (laughs) operation where toons are kidnapped, having their appearances altered, and are shipped overseas to produce bootlegs of their work for the rest of their lives. I'll stop there. That's not the end of the paragraph, but like, yeah, because that's what do you think of that? What do you think of that um, idea? Like, it's kind of like human trafficking, but they get transported into like knock off disney stuff or i i think this that's honestly it. probably like the most clever part of the movie i'd agree yeah like every like all because it's just like oh yeah okay like there's the threat of being like this and it, like it's something that actually kind of happens in real life yeah yeah so it's like oh it's like oh yeah like Ooh, who knows it could be what's happening in the real hollywood whoa like that's that's the yeah. most clever part what do you think about the stinky cheese addiction <laughs> yeah i don't know what the hell was up with that was that his character in the cartoon just, i don't i don't know i think so i just... think that's a reference to the cartoon how you i think he was just like evil in the cartoon and that but he would like try to get cheese and I like, never that, that was an excuse I think that was like maybe like an excuse of him like being friendly to them outside of the. I don't know. So he's like a. a, a he's a different person. Addict. He's a different person on the cheese. 
or something. I don't know. I didn't watch the cartoon. I could be wrong. Yeah, it could just I, be like I, a, a, a thing they made up right then and there. I have no idea. I I feel like there could have been a better way. Like, if it is a reference, sure. But like, if it's not a reference, and they were just like, "Oh, uh, he should be addicted to drugs. Uh, we can't put drugs in a Disney movie. Che- cheese." <laughs> then it's like, oh, okay. It's just whatever. Because it's I yeah. I was having a tr- hard time like giving a giving a shit when it's like, oh yeah, I didn't care some, about that character. That's honestly. some stinky Gouda. Oh man, woo wee. Like I like I I had a trouble like jumping that hurdle and being like oh yeah they're addicted to cheese. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, one of the 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 actors for Chip and Dale it was like what were they John Mulaney and yeah, the John one Mulaney. dude from his and voice the one is dude so from annoying. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah, I don't care, dude. His voice is annoying. Wait, John Mulaney is one. <laughs> oh, it was Andy John Mulaney. Samberg. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's. <laughs> he worked I, I in it. he worked in Spider Verse, but here no, I don't think so. Who was he in Spider Verse? Which one? He was uh, the the Peter Porker. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I think I think his voice is a little too annoying. <laughs> yeah, I like, think that was, was the point of because he character. was like the main character, and he was just like all the time. He's just talking the entire time. Yeah, he's just going bananas. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I'm gonna finish this I paragraph. I just, I just hated the movie. Just, <laughs> everything, I, I just think everything about it just annoyed me. That's fair enough. <laughs> I'm, I don't judge you for that opinion. All right, finishing the paragraph. Later that night, the two are informed that Monty has been kidnapped. They meet police captain Putty and officer Ellie Steckler. The latter reveals herself to be a big Rescue Rangers fan, and with the police's hands tied, she suggests Chip and Dale investigate on their own. What do you guys think of yeah. of Ellie Ek- Steckler, the the police woman, the cop? Yeah, I, the... she's a terrible character. She's a terrible actor. Like, yeah, dude. I don't think she did very good. I don't remember what, not... what she was. She was supposed to be like a so plot twist, right? Yeah, she was just like she was like a fan, and she worked for the but cops. She, but then she wasn't a fan, or was she? No, or she like, wasn't. Did they think that she wasn't? Yeah, and they, they do the t- weird. It was like a reverse plot twist. Yeah, they later twist. do the weird the thing where it's like, oh, we think she's the villain, but she's not actually the villain. The villain was the other cop. What? Yeah, <laughs> it's not yeah. that interesting. Yeah, she's, it was she boring. Was bland, yeah. bland. And I, I know character. it's hard to like act across from like cardboard cutouts, but she did a bad job. And I feel like in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, it's like a lot more. It's a lot easier to like forgive it because it's like the '90s. But like at this point, yeah. like you have that to go reference. You have, you have, you should be able to like know what it's gonna feel like a little more. She's like, than people did in the '90s. She's like crouching down just to talk to these guys. It's like it's just it's just goofy. Yeah, yeah. she's just like too. She's she was yeah. She just feels like too robotic as a performance. Yeah. <laughs> And now moving on, Chip and Dale visit Bjorgson, the cheesemonger, which I did not know he was called the damn cheesemonger. Wait, the cheesemonger? That's what, the puppet guy? That's what, yeah, that's the puppet guy. Yeah, Monty's cheese dealer, and they ask about the Valley Gang. They are taken to the Uncanny Valley part of town and or the Uncanny Valley part of town and meet the gang's leader, Sweet Pete, an adult version of Peter Pan, and his henchmen, Bob and Jimmy. Which are shit names, and I didn't remember them for a reason. <laughs> they made a couple references in this in this scene. I don't know if you spotted them, but there was like the the naked man from that YouTube video walk into the store or whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's like you know. Oh. Yeah, I know what you're talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, he was in there, and also they had a reference to the movie Cats. Yeah, I saw that. that. Oh, yeah. I, saw that. Yeah. I can respect a quick dunk on cats. <laughs> I remember that. The Uncanny Valley is like I feel like they're trying to do a similar thing to the thing with the bootleggers, but it's kind of it doesn't. It's I don't care as much. <laughs> it's not as funny. They didn't do what was up, and then like Seth Rogen, the S- Seth Rogen character showed up, and I Seth hated Rogen his is either he Bob just, or he just laughed a couple times. It's just Seth Rogen. I I don't like Seth Rogen, dude. I got. I'm. I'm done. I'm. I'm sick of him. It's not that funny anymore. What like, is his, just his selling point? Voice. Is his laugh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that scene where it's just like four of his characters and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's the fucking the 
the alien from Monsters Aliens, the <laughs> the the Pumba Lion King, the live action one. Yeah. People who like Seth Rogen like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, they're just the know. Ed Sheeran fans that smoke weed. <laughs> well, I hope you're prepared for the Mario movie because. Let's see. Once you see Donkey Kong show up, that's all you're going to be hearing. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> he doesn't actually laugh like that. He does. He made that up. There's no way. Yeah. Nobody laughs Even like that. Even if he did laugh at that like that at one point, he definitely kept it because he's like, people, they know you for your laugh, man. You got to keep doing that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that's what it was like. That's That's a star right there. <laughs> I can laugh. All right. Like, no, it's not that interesting. Yeah, dude. All right. Realizing they are investigating his bootlegging business, Pete tries to capture the pair, but the chipmunks escape. The two later share their discoveries with Ellie, learning that she is shunned, or learning that she is shunned by Putty due to acting on a bad tip and raiding Nickelodeon Junior Studios with negative results. With Ellie's help, the chipmunks sneak into a bathhouse to steal Pete's say? fitness tracker. The sentence is the sentence I watched is bad. the movie and I have no idea what you just said. Okay, no, no. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> so, so the chipmunks go back to Ellie and they're like, Ellie, Ellie, it's it's Peter Pan. And then and then Ellie yeah. goes and tells Putty. And then Putty's like, bro, is this going to be another Nickelodeon Junior Studios moment where you did that earlier and then there was nothing? Remember that part? Oh yeah, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, because it's a, okay, I, I forgot it was Nick Jr. because I did not care about Putty. Kind of sucked too. All the cops weren't very good in this movie. I feel like it was just kind of yeah. like, whatever. And it's played by a guy who played the dad in Invincible. Yeah. Who's, yeah. What's his I don't name? Remember. Uh, he's a good actor, but stupid that he's in here he's better in invincible, better in invincible <laughs> for sure well invincible is a better movie his name is oh it's jk J- yeah 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 jk simmons he's um he's fletcher and whiplash <laughs> yeah he's a good actor i hate seeing good actors in yeah, bad he's... movies <laughs> yeah but i mean i also yeah. enjoy that people get their checks whatever way they can yeah he showed up for a check yeah. pretty much i mean you know standard hey man acting. you gotta work um so with Ellie's help, the chipmunks sneak into the bathhouse and try to steal Pete's fitness tracker. They trace his movements to a dock warehouse, though it is already abandoned by the time the police arrive. Inside, they find a large operating machine designed to alter Toon's bodies, along with several Toon parts, including Monty's mustache. <sighs> That's one of the worst parts. So one of the worst parts of the movie was like in that in that area segment of them stealing the fucking like, yeah in the bathhouse the yeah because they start rapping the and then, then they start they to like start connect a little and then they start more getting chased by they start getting chased by seth rogan and the that pol- coca-cola uh, polar bear uh, uh, dude yeah i hated the snake like the the soundcloud snake guy that was the that, that guy, guy was, was so annoying. It's like, oh, dude. It's like, yes. Wait, was he the guy that was like overly excited about the? Yeah, he was. He was the one who was filming them and like being like, yeah, oh, yeah. rap over this, brother. And it's like, oh my god, this it's the worst. That I. I was like, that, that was definitely sucked. one of the worst scenes. That was one of the worst scenes for sure. And they're like, that was the old. That was a low point for sure. To distract him. Yeah, and then they find the the dumb machine, and it's like, oh, they're bootlegging. Whoa. Doesn't doesn't uh <laughs> doesn't doesn't one of them get their ear cut off or something there? No, it's like is that they, later? Their ear transformed into like a different ear. Oh yeah, get they get like a Pluto ear. So, I think that was yeah. <laughs> the cartoon yeah. one. I liked the Pluto ear. I, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was kind of funny that he just yeah, like but, he just had it he, for a long did, time. I wish he just kept it. <laughs> Yeah. I, did he keep it? No. Or did he change it? I think it end? got changed back at the end. But he had it for like a long time in yeah. the movie, which I was surprised by. <laughs> I was like, dang, they just left the Pluto ear for a while. Um, all right. <laughs> then they like, don't they get like spit out of the sewer or something? And they tried to think, they tried to do a fake out death. It's like here, oh. like a little emotional scene. Was that, was that? Yeah, that was earlier. Emotional. That was earlier. That was after the bathhouse. Yeah, like oh, after yeah. the bathhouse, they like escape under the. Yeah, they flush themselves. Wait, that's even earlier. That's when they escape Sweet Pete. 
Yeah, they escape oh, Sweet Pete by locking dead. themselves in the bathroom and flushing themselves down the toilet, and then one of them's like, I'm dying, I'm dead, I'm dying. And then the other one's like, uh, now that you're about to die, I want you to know that I care about you, and I'm sad that the show was canceled. And then he's like, I'm alive. And it's like, what? They did two. They do two fake out deaths over this movie. They did one at the end when again. The second one. At the very end, like one of them falls or something after they like kill the bad guy. And then it's like, oh no, you're dead. Oh no. I don't remember. I wish they died. I don't remember which one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember which one fake died. And that's the darn, that's the problem is that like, I don't care. Like I, I will say, I don't care. Yeah, about I don't the even remember which one at all. They're so basic. I don't know. All right. Damn, we got three more paragraphs of plot, baby. You want to go to the last one? The last paragraph? Skippy skip. Just, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Stuff happens. Plot twist. Uh, oh, here's whatever. what I'll talk about. You know the fight scene with, uh, what's the chick's name? Uh, Ellie and the putty guy. That fight? Yeah, that Yeah, that, that was terrible. Dude, that fight sucked. I don't that was... remember. The one where, like, like the that's putty guy just, my watch. like, he becomes, like, fantastic Mr. Four levels of, of attacking for some goddamn reason. Uh, and he oh, just yeah. starts trying to, like, so choke Ellie looking. out. Yeah. And it's just such that a long weird. fight. And then, like, it's just like, oh, my God. Like, why are you, why are you as a police captain this good at fighting? I feel like there it wasn't set up at all. It's just, like, he's randomly, like, really good at being goopy and shit. And it's like... Yeah, well, how did he lose? Like, didn't he get froze? She so froze him. She froze him and smashed him, like with the yeah. with the fire hydrant. I thought he was gonna die like that. He for died. a second. I nope. wish he died. He lived. Man. I wish everyone yeah. died in the movie. Yeah, and then they turn. I hate that they turned Peter Pan into like a weird, dumb, big monster. Yeah, like an amalgamation of Disney shit. Like he had Woody's leg and like yeah. he's like a big, he has <laughs> like, like a cat head. <laughs> it was so dumb. That was the goofiest shit I've ever seen. Who the yeah. hell thought of that? Why? Yeah, I think the third act. I just rolled a dice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, for the leg we got five. What is that? What is that? Woody. Yeah, they're just, just like they have like stupid. Captain Hook's leg too. I think. Yeah, something, dude. It was like pirate It was leg. trash. Because they were like, oh, no, we have to do something exciting. But all of our characters are, like, fat and old and decrepit. What do we do? <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph arm or something. Yeah, let's turn him into a big old Wreck-It Ralph, Woody, Captain Hook, cat-headed monster. And then uh, the pol- uh, the police captain, uh, he's like fanta- he's like Captain Captain Fantastic Mr. Four, and he's really good at fighting. And then he tries to kill the cop, I guess. That's pretty exciting. Cut it. Put it out. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we don't need to do the rest of this. The last the I last don't know. Is just like the last sucks. Yeah. What, what else? Ugly Sonic. He showed up like three times. Yeah. The FBI. The yeah. It's Ugly Sonic. He was doing a show at the FBI, and then he's actually in the FBI, and then he shows up and arrests the Sweet Pete. Or wait. <laughs> oh yeah. No. Yeah. Because they. Oh my god. Yeah. Sweet Pete fires a cannonball at Chip, and then Dale jumps in the way and takes the hit, and Fake dies. And then, then Sweet Pete gets Sonic. crushed by shit. And then, uh, oh yeah. And then Dale gives him. Oh, and then Dale lives because of the golden pog that Chip gives him. I forgot about that. Stupid. Oh yeah, that stupid thing. Stupid. Yeah. yeah. Little Ready. MacGuffin. Ready yeah. Player One moments. Yeah, it all it wraps itself up like a movie. I like <laughs> looking back at the plot. It just it, it gets, still sucks. It gets but it gets pretty bad by the end of it. Yeah. I feel like the first half of it's not too bad. Like, it's just, it's, like, standard stuff. But, like, I think... I don't know. I think it started going downhill when Seth Rogen showed up for me. I hate Seth Rogen. Yeah, I think I think the movie is bad, but I think it had surprisingly, like, fresh ideas for a little bit of it with, like, the bootleggers yeah. and, like, Peter Pan being the bad guys kind of interesting with the real life history and then like it just gets worse and worse and then like we need to end the movie and then they just like shit it out and it's over they just poop on the screen and then they just poop take a big old disney shit on the screen yeah Yeah. but all that so many references so cool i'm still surprised that the script had literally any ideas in it 
at all. I think my standards were so low that I was surprised that there was like anything interesting in the movie whatsoever. And I do like uh, yeah. when Ugly Sonic shows up and he just looks like shit. <laughs> that that was yeah, probably yeah. their best bit. Their I like the part bit. where they just sh- like when they zoom in on his teeth. Yeah, because that's that was pre- that teeth. was main the main thing everyone was focused on when that Sonic yeah. trailer came out was the human teeth that they gave Sonic. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that was I think that and like the bootleggers were their best ideas, and then everything else is just like dumb. I kind <laughs> I th- <laughs> I kind of thought the stupid cheese guy was funny. I think I was just easy to yeah, entertain. Was, <laughs> I, I I liked yeah. I just like puppets. So yeah, the puppet like, puppets guy are always funny to me. And he's just like doing the dumbest accent. He's like, "Wait, what the fuck?" <laughs> that's that's it though. Everything else. <laughs> Dog shit. I hey. just think it was all bad. That sounds like a a, a hot take, Hane. <laughs> 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 Come on, keep it rolling. Okay. Do the, do the, do the, do it. <laughs> so what? What kind of hot takes do you guys have? I got a hot take. I oh yeah, I fucking hate cereal. <gasps> Wait, why? Oh, I think. Okay, okay. I think it is kind of gross. If you just think about, okay, for a second, just think about it. It's just milk. Uh-huh. And sugar and carbs in a bowl, <clears throat> and you eat it for breakfast. It's cold. It's sad. If you leave it for too long, it gets soggy. But I think the worst part about it is it's just so like bad for you. It's just sugar in the morning, and well, like people uh, like all of it love sugar. cereal. Yeah, the but it just it like cereal. pisses me off how much people love cereal, and it just like it just sucks. You know that's how I feel about cake. What? <laughs> I don't I'm like the, cake. I'm in a room with psychopaths. What? Why cake? What did cake ever do to you? It's just so sweet. Like I don't want to eat so that. Like you know, like it's just it's too much. That's fair. I it guess. depends on oh, people cake. love it. it. I don't love it. Like birthday cake? Yeah, the birthday cake sucks. But like, there's like good cake out there. I'm, I love all cake, and that's actually the cringest take I've ever heard in my entire life. Holy! <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! I, I don't it. like. Okay, then what's cake. your take then, huh? Well, let me let me shit on your cringe okay, take. I don't have a cringe take. Okay, actually, I eat cereal without milk. That if that counts. Well, that's not really a take, though. Well, I think cereal is that your hot take? Cringe. That's not my hot take. But to to tie back to cereal, I think cereal is pretty good. And like, if you get like Cheerios that aren't like covered in honey and shit, it can be healthy. It, but it's just it's just like it's just like grains and like carbs and like I like carbs. It's just it's still not good for you. It's not, yeah. I mean, carbs are decent if you're trying to bulk, but oh. it just—I mean, there's better, there's more efficient. I'm not ways. like and the it, biggest just, cereal fan, just, but I—I I don't know. I don't know. I feel like people like yeah. like just like love cereal. People do like and like people people will get very mad at me for saying like cereal is, is trash. I think it's just the trash food that you're brainwashed from your since you're a kid. You, you, you I used to eat a lot yeah. of cereal. But I don't, not anymore, obviously. I, I never eat a lot of cereal, but I think I don't feel satisfied when I eat cereal for breakfast. Makes me so thirsty. Probably yeah, I'd just, rather just have, like, eggs and, like, sausage. Yeah, and eggs, sausage. Bacon. That's just like, more, it's just a more filling breakfast to me. I think you, I think you're supposed to have, like, protein and, like, good carbs for breakfast. Like, I don't, I don't think cereal, I think cereal is just garbage. Fair enough. Yeah, that's my hot take. I just people. I think I, I just feel like people would get gets like mad about it. Yeah. yeah, viewers, let us know if you're mad at Hane for his cereal hot take. I can't think of a hot take. I used to be anti vegetables, but I'm coming around a little bit. But I still I still find it insane that people can eat an entire damn salad. What? How all vegetable? <laughs> How you do that? Oh, I got a hot take. I got another hot take. <laughs> will people that. Will people please shut the fuck up about Spy X family? Please. <laughs> Why? God damn. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's annoying. <laughs> it's stop. I mean, fair enough. I guess. I think it's Is like, it even that good. Yeah. You haven't know. even watched it. 
That's a, okay. I watched a little bit. It's like a fun. It's just a fun show. It's fun. I think it just has really big mass appeal. Like it's act. It's like it's actually a yeah. show that has genuinely funny stuff in it. But I do. It is insane how many people are like super, 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 super into it. Like just posting. Yeah, like like that's. I don't know. I just like I'm just constantly seeing it everywhere. I yeah. don't even know what that is. That an anime? Yeah, it's an it's anime. An anime. The, it's an what anime it's where the concept is the dad is a spy and his mission is to start a fake family so that he can get close to a bureaucrat in one in the other country that he's like against. So he adopts this little girl who is a psychic <clears throat> and she can read minds, so she knows that he's a spy. And doesn't say anything, but she doesn't want him to know that she's psychic, and he doesn't want anybody to know that he's a spy. And then he has to get a fake wife so that people don't think he's suspicious, and then the fake wife is an assassin. <laughs> it's, That's a lot. I mean, it's, it sounds it's, funny. It's bananas as a concept, but like when you're when you're watching it, you're like, okay, yeah, fine. I mean, it's just a goofy show, right? It's just like, like just... a silly show, yeah. Like it's not, okay. it's not like a serious. It's not anime. like serious. Yeah, it's just okay. like a, it's just like a fun dumb show. I I okay. watched the whole that thing. You've probably like seen it. the girl Anya a lot. She's kind of become a meme. She's like the pink, the, yeah. People, the pink haired girl. I will say, I do like, I do not like people being like, "Oh my god, Anya, I weep at your genius" when she like makes a face. She just like will make a funny face, and then people like post it and are like. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like people just go insane. Yeah, that's a lot of anime humor. Is like, like a, a a girl, like an anime girl making a cute face, and then they'll post like emotes of it. Yeah, in dude. like Discord chats or like, yeah, like and gifts like, of, of them reacting. Yeah, I hate that shit so much. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But I'm just like. Like there's just go watch Ranking of Kings. Like Gosh. if it's just a face, like I don't know. Outside. I feel like I would never just like break out laughing at just a face. Like it's the joke around the face. It's not like, oh my god, look, the face is smug. Lol. That's like busting out laughing at Twitch emotes, which like sometimes if it's like a yeah. really good one, but most of the time it's just like, take. what's a laugh emote? What is it? Oh, fuck! I forgot. Wait, <laughs> it was about anime. Um. I don't know. Go outside. Yeah. Here's a, here's a <laughs> no, yeah. Here's a hot take. Touch grass, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I had something in the anime, but oh well. Lost it. It's like when you raise your hand in class. And yeah, one kid it goes, goes away. Oh, uh, I forgot. Here's the yeah. Here's How a does hot that take. Like every like every day. Here's a hot take. Watch Odd Taxi Hand, you son of a gun. I'm calling you out on the podcast. I literally will. Live. I literally will. It's a good I literally show. Will. Here's a hot take. Here's a hot take. Array sucks. Array sucks. Array sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kind of good if you just ignore the ending part completely. <laughs> it's kind of good if you just don't watch the show. No. It gets good eventually. No. Well, no, it doesn't. It gets it stay. It's good, it and then it gets off. bad eventually. It gets. It gets. What's an anime that people say that I think it, for? When it I gets really good hate eventually. Anime, Damn ass, like... Gintama, dude. Hot take. Oh yeah, yeah. If you tell people to sit and wait for something to get good, and that they aren't allowed to have an opinion on what they've seen, shut up, dumbass. <laughs> like yeah. Um, like uh, you shouldn't have to sit through like. A hundred episodes. That's what people say about Game Tama. They're like, "Yeah, once you get through the first like hundred or so episodes, like it gets really funny." And it's like, I don't, I don't have time. I don't have the time to watch a hundred episodes of trash. Yeah, I, I don't have time of mid. Of oh, wait, I remember, that's I remember what my hot take like. anime. Go. What was it? What was it? That's not that how much of a hot take I've said it before, but I hate, I hate anime humor. <sighs> I hate like, it's just not funny. I was just playing off of what you were saying about the. <laughs> faces and shit it's just i don't know everything about anime humor is just like yeah i think it's really uh, rare to find a japanese show that like actually appeals to my sense of humor yeah i think like one show made me laugh that that used anime humor it wasn't just my humor but like i think like nishija was like funny yeah because it was so it was i mean that was the only that was the whole point of the show mm-hmm. but other than that it's very rare i've seen sometimes like... sometimes it's, it's like really stupid i'll like laugh if it's like just like there and it's just like okay yeah that and I, I think i'm really past the point in my life where i'm gonna be able to watch like some comedy anime and like laugh like konosuba konosuba is like a show that if you're like 16 or 15 <sighs> years old 
and you're and you're and you're really <laughs> sitting there thinking about sex, it's funny. But like if you're a- above that age, you're just like, oh my god. You have a maturity over the age of twelve. <laughs> yeah, if you're, one of the few. It, yeah, I think the f- one of the few animes that actually made me laugh was uh, probably Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> For one specific scene with Hisuka, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but that scene just is like it's just so like unbelievably bonkers. It's just like what the hell were they thinking? <laughs> is it the one where he's like busting because of Gon? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah dude. You know, have you seen that Parheen? No. Oh. Well, maybe I don't can know. Can I just say it? It's so funny. Yeah, he just like yeah, comes just over him, right? Yeah, he's like trying. He's about to like punch him, and he's just like, oh yeah, God. oh God. <laughs> You know, he's yeah, like that would make me laugh. Not, yeah, he's like, he's like buzzing stupid. a nut. Yeah, it's it's insane that Hisoka exists because he's like actually kind of just a pedophile. It's it's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's well, just like yeah. One show that's insane funny for Japan. Is, yeah, there's a show called Hinamatsuri. <laughs> that's the best con- comedy anime I've seen in quite a while. But like most anime comedy is just like not good. I've never seen that show. You know, it's it's about a psychic girl <laughs> who lives with a of mob boss. I don't know why Japan is obsessed with psychic little people doing shit. But it's a, it's a funny show. I, I recommend that show. Yeah, there's, there's always like at least one moment in like an anime that just like makes me laugh. It, it's usually when I'm caught off guard and it's just like something stupid and like really fast. I'm just like, what the fuck was that? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And um, like sometimes yeah. it's not even supposed to be a joke. Sometimes it just, it just happens and it just makes me laugh. But um, anime humor... For the most part, it sucks. it's just the same recycled bullshit, and it's just boring. Yeah, and if you laugh at that shit, I don't know. You're fucking. You like you probably like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it all ties back to Ed Sheeran. Dude. If you like Ed Sheeran, you suck. I think. I mean, that's just like. <laughs> I just. That's just a different way of saying you're an NPC. Yeah. Ed Sheeran I don't listeners. NPC. Looks at Jaren. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Greeny, if you're watching, we love you. Mwah. You're not an NPC, Greeny. You're like a Greeny. You're a guy. You're a, oh my god, you're I'm crazy. Just, man. Oh my god, Greeny, you're awesome. Yeah. You're like you a, don't count. Yeah, you're like a side quest. Kind of like how Steven, since Steven's favorite show is like The Office, he's not an NPC, but he's like he has like NPC interests. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Player. Speaking of Ed Sheeran, what's your top three favorite Ed Sheeran albums? Mm. <laughs> none of them, none of them, and none of them. Why would you make such know. a stupid top three? Does he have? <laughs> if only there was somebody here who had a cool top three that was Pog Chan. Yeah, I wonder if someone here actually thought of a top three to do. All right, guys, welcome back to our top three segments. We, um, I don't know if you remember. For you old croupers out there, we used to do top three. That was like our first like four um, episodes. First three, I think. First we three, did top our three, first, and then our we stopped. Stopped. three, top three. Um, what do we do? We did like movies, anime, video games, video games. I don't know did we, we did do fast else. food? We didn't. Yes, we did fast what, food. Did we do top three oh, fast food? Okay. I think we just talked about fast food at some point. I think we might have just talked about fast yeah. food. So, I thought of one. <clears throat> it's not. I, I thought we'd just bring him back. So I, I thought uh, an easy one. Um, and I have a few things to say about it before I before I list my top three. But what are your guys' top three sit-down chain restaurants in, like, America? So, like, not, like, Ooh. Huh. preferably not, like, local chains, preferably something that we, like, all know about. And not, okay. like, not like fast food. No, don't, like, do, like, Taco Bell or whatever. I think. All right. Like Outback or something. Here, I'll let you guys think about that for a second. I think that chain restaurants are like one of the worst things to like happen to America. Like top ten worst things to happen in America. Not because like they're bad. I don't, like they're okay. Right? They're always just okay. But like I think like just like the idea like they just replaced all these like mom and pop owned like restaurants, which I would so much rather go to and like and like just like try like different foods that are like good and mm-hmm. yeah because those restaurants are like required to like be very good to succeed and like these chain restaurants are just like made by capitalism and like they're just they're just everywhere so they're gonna succeed and that's just that's just my take on that but um i think they suck i think they're awful that being said 
I don't like I don't hate him, but um I have a top three. So do you guys have a um? I'm still thinking. I can go first. Yeah, you should. Who wants to go first? I can go first. I got my top three. I don't have my top three yet. You go. All right. All right. So I just want to say this now. It's really not based off the food. My my top three. It can be based. You guys can be based off the food. But mine is probably like just, I don't know. So here's my top three. Okay. All right. Number three. Friendlies. I used to go to Friendlies when I was like 10 or like 12 and like I would get like the mozzarella sticks and like a bunch of like kids food and it's just it's just a nostalgic experience okay and honestly I couldn't think of any anything else <laughs> put in the number three spot <laughs> all right number two is uh Bob Evans <laughs> Bob Evans I think okay so okay I, so like I I don't like Bob Evans and people who go to Bob Evans are fucking old people. But um <laughs> Didn't we eat there? Yeah, yeah we did. It was like yeah, it was funny. Old. Yeah. But like I think like I associate like my grandma, she had like dementia, right? My white grandma, right? Mm. She was um and she like had a weird like obsession with like Bob Evans. So like every time she got like hungry, she would like ask if if we can go to Bob Evans. And I thought that was like a funny thing that my grandma used to do. And it was kind of cute, but um, oh. even like we would go to my, we would go to Bob Evans. You know, a couple hours later, she'd get hungry, and she's like, "Can we go to Bob Evans?" Like, oh. <laughs> All right, Grandma. <laughs> but um, my number one, Golden Corral, Sizzlers, no, Maria Calendars. It's Applebee's. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just like for some reason Applebee's. Well, one, it's like an inside joke in our friend group. A little bit. It's, it was an inside inside joke. From um, remember Lawrence, the whole like Applebee's thing. <laughs> I um, don't, I don't remember. Wait, we'll talk about it. I forgot. Yeah, it was like remember he like said that awful joke that it was like. Oh get the apple with the bees, yeah, that's that's it a great really, joke. That's a stupid yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like it was funny. Yeah, we told our friend Lawrence. He, we were like, yeah, we're gonna go to Applebee's when we all hang out, and he was like, ooh, you're gonna get the apples or the bees, and then for about. Two to three months straight after that, we would just say that <laughs> consistently. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was like, it was yeah, it was funny. Bit. I like that bit. I missed that bit. Yeah, and like I remember the first time I went to West Virginia with Yoshi, or maybe it was the second time. I don't know, but we went to Applebee's, and it was a good. Time. I think every time I go to Applebee's with my friends, it's always like a good time, and that's why I like it. Not because the food is good. Yeah, but it's just it's always Applebee's like a, a it's always setting. like fun, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like a, yeah. it's like a family friendly place, and it's like funny, and it's like I don't know, it's just like kind of sucks, but it's like fun because it's Applebee's. All right, that was my top three. All right, my top three, Applebee's. And this is no particular order. Applebee's, Outback Steakhouse, and Olive Garden. Nice. I picked the I picked uh, Outback because of the blooming onion. Yeah. It's um, it's like their staple there, and it just it reminds me of when we all went to Outback that one time, and we got like two or three blooming onions, and we had too much, too much onion. Yeah. And then Olive Garden, the free bread, the fr- the bread's good, and I love I like the bread. If people and shit on Olive Garden, <laughs> I don't give a fuck, dude. Olive Garden's like, it's fine. I don't think I've been yeah, to Olive it's Garden. Good. In- my entire adult life Good pasta like people salad like people like i guess like for some reason people get really pretentious about like italian food right like you know pizza and like stuff and people oh yeah, people yeah. hate all of that's garden. not real pizza domino's ain't real pizza yeah, another, another hot take i hate pizza snobs me too. Yeah. Just yeah, eat pizza. It. It's like it's it's already like a kid's food, right? Like it's good. It's always so, it's always just good. It's cheese, pizza, sauce. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just you'll like, eat like they'll eat like a Domino's pizza and just be like absolutely oh, grossed oh, out. Oh, oh, like you oh. don't see people like that for burgers. Dude, There's I, no, I don't see I, any burger snobs complaining about different kinds of burgers. Yeah, dude, burgers are like one of my favorite foods, and I'll, I'll just eat fucking McDonald's. I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I understand. Like you, there is better. There's good pizza. Like pizza can get really good, and like New York, if you go to New York or whatever. But like. Just like shut the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I get it. Like, it's like good. It like that's all, like, 
It's just pizza. It's it's a kid's food. I don't care. <laughs> to be fair, not, not really. Domino's <laughs> is. I hate Domino's. I really don't enjoy. I mean, it's different. It, it's different. It's different. But yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's but like it's a like people are like, you yeah, know, Domino's, Papa John's, like people, I can't do any of them. I have to have like, yeah, fuck those people. But if you're like, if you're like Domino's, understand it's like stupid. People that eat Domino's understand that it's not like the best pizza. Yeah. Like we, we don't care. We're just hungry. True. You know what I mean? Like I'll eat Little, little Caesars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I ate a whole Little Fuck Caesars pizza, pizza one time, and I almost threw up. <laughs> a whole pizza? Yeah, it was a bad idea. It was so greasy. <laughs> it was so. I think I've eaten like three fourths of the pizza before, and it was like. Oh. I've there's been a so yeah, there's I just been a couple times in combo. my life where I eat a whole pizza and then like almost die <laughs> because it sucks. Yeah. Um. Well, my you top need to do three. That. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> the leftover pizza is so good. You don't have to eat it all in one sitting. All right. Sorry. My top three. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Jay Alexander's. I'm gonna say. Fuck. Thank TGIF. Thank God it's Friday and Waffle House. Ooh. Waffle House? Yeah. TGIF just because I love the idea of of the app- appetizer meals like the like the I know they had like one day a week. I don't know if they still do it. But it's like, yeah, you could get all these cheap adverti- appetizers and just like fill a table with them and all eat together. I I like that a lot. Yeah, I assume it's a similar vibe to Applebee's. It's just like a family fun place to hang out pretty in. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. It's pretty it's like it's like a bootleg Applebee's to be honest. And then there's I've never been to a TGIF Fridays actually. It's pretty good. What about Wait, Applebee's or Chili's? Oh, I've never been to Chili's. Ooh, I'm switching out mm-hmm. Jay Alexander's for Chili's. Fucking Chili's. Chili's is pretty damn Chili's, good. I don't know. Their food is fine. But th- there's just like a certain vibe that enters the room when you say we're going to Chili's. When when the it's when it's yeah. like we should go to Chili's go on Chili's. our meetup, dude. I would love I yeah, would love yeah. nothing more than yeah, to go Applebee's. to Chili's. I, like I've <clears throat> I would go to Chili's any fucking day. If anybody walked up to me and they're like, "Yo, you want to go to Chili's?" I would go to Chili's because it's just funny to go to Chili's and the food is like decent enough. And then Waffle House, because of, like, the same re- – I feel like what makes a chain restaurant good is because, like, it's fun to be there with your friends, and, like, it's a lot of places. And, like, Chili's has that, and Waffle House is literally fucking everywhere. Well, everywhere that I go. I know it's not in California and shit. And, like, the food yeah. is, like, rel- – We got The Denny's. food is, like, pretty good. The food is I- – I don't know. Like, I like the food a lot. I know it's not for everybody, and it's, like, just some decent breakfast food. But, like – there's just just like a certain yeah, charm point, about sitting around in a booth just whatever. late at night, and then like two of the waitresses start like fighting each other <laughs> and like yelling and stuff, yeah. and it's just like yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. in it. I'm just hanging out in the Waffle House eating my breakfast food. And there were definitely many yeah. a drunken night in in college spent there. Well, not many. I I don't get drunk that often, but there were a few at least. Mm-hmm. Good top threes, everybody. Thanks, thanks. Go. I feel like they're never. Well, maybe. Well, I feel like they're more about the experience and never about the food because the food's always just okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You you'll definitely be disappointed sometimes with the food. Sometimes it sometimes it just hits right. Sometimes yeah. it hits you right. It just in the depends spot. on the mood, honestly. Mm-hmm. So I think we should. We don't have to do a top three every every podcast, but um, if anyone thinks of one, we should, yeah, uh, I think if, we should rotate. I think if we think a good one, we put it in there. It doesn't have to be that serious. Yeah. Or it could be more serious. It could be like top three um, pol- political <laughs> uh, stances. <laughs> yeah, yeah, top three opinions on abortion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go to group two. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Wait, that's, it's the, that's the segment of the show where we share what we've been listening to for this week. What do you What do you guys got? I got. Uh, this isn't what I've been listening to recently. It's just something I'm going to recommend. Uh, Nurture, Porter Robinson. <gasps> good album. Good, I love that good, album. Good I love album. that album. Really that's my number two album of 2020. Is when it came out. 
I think I it was, was 2021. It? 2021. Yeah. Yeah. It was 2021. It was 2021. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. My, good, good album. Incredible album. Agreed. My favorite song is Get Your Wish. Um, I like Look at the Sky. Sweet Time. I, I mean, I like all these songs a lot. It's just a really feel good album. Mm hmm. Yeah, go, go I, listen to it. I have I don't have too much to say about it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a very it's um a feels personal when you listen to it. It feels personal, like it's yeah. electronic music, but like it definitely like feels more natural and more like you're like like the album cover Alive. itself is like him laying in a patch of like flowers. It feels like that. And to be able to capture that and put that into sound is like a very impressive feat. And all of these songs are boppers. They make you want to dance. They make you want to cry because it's like, oh, oh my God. It's so like, emo like it's, he put a lot of emotion into this album and like talked about a lot of things in a very like honest and emotional way. And I really expect or respect that. Definitely think this is his best work yet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I like it more than Worlds. I love sure. worlds back. When was that? It was like two thousand. That was, was like twenty fifteen. Twenty fourteen. So it was like eight years Dang. ago. It like that has some of like the most like nostalgic songs for me. Yeah, I remember sh when Shelter came out. There was like an anime music video oh, for yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean that song is. That song is just good. I know it's like super overplayed or whatever, but like it's a good I, song I would too. St I still yeah, bop yeah. to. Shelter. I used to listen to that a lot. What's your guys' croup tunes? I'm gonna decide because I'm, I'm. I think if I can't decide or if I haven't really been finding any new music, I'm gonna go to like my my my. I don't know your vault. Called. So like I have like a couple artists that I like consider like my roots in terms of like inspiration because i'm also if you don't know i produce music and so does my friend blanky please right. and i'm, I'm sure he ha i'm sure he has like artists that are like his roots or whatever um that you kind of base off your like sound or like your inspiration <clears throat> off of so i'm trying to decide who i should pick. well while you're doing that it sounds like i was worried that i was gonna steal yours because i found this album because you were listening to it one day, and I just randomly clicked on it and like listened along in secret and never told you. Oh, is it? It is Memory I Land by about. CFCF. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's like, a, it's like part a house album, part like an electronic album. The main deal with this album yeah. is that it's like two thousands, like early two thousands nostalgia core is <laughs> is the best way to describe it. Like, all of it's kind of, like, trying to feed into this feeling that you would get from, like, Jet Set Radio. You know, like, that that whole vibe. Which I've noticed it's, like, starting to get more popular as, like, people from that time period get older and, like, remember those times. But this album is really good. It has a lot of, like, good house tracks on it. It has a lot of good, like... It just has, like, very, very good production. What I respect about it is, like, the sound design of it all. Like, being it, like, I feel like every sound was just, like, so carefully, like, honed in and, like, crafted. And I listen to a lot of more, like, experimental stuff, more, like, underground stuff. So I feel like I don't listen to, like, things with such good sound design as often as I should. But, like, I feel like, every, like all of these sounds just have, like, a purpose. And, like, listening and, like, trying to find new stuff in the soundscape is really cool. And the songs are slappers. So go ahead and give Memory Land by CFCF a listen. Every track is pretty darn cool. Um, yeah. Uh, my favorite song is the uh, Sarah Benito song. Oh, yeah, Heaven. That's a good song. That's basically one of the only ones I remember. I remember a couple. <gasps> you, I listened to it twice in a I, row. I did it because it was kind of it all like kind of. I was it was in the background. Mm. I, I I saw you listening along. <laughs> yeah, I just snuck. I just snuck so, in and listened along. Ooh, My favorite tracks was are it so sneaky after okay. all. That was kind of sneaky. It was. I, 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 I noticed. My favorite tracks are Self Service 1999, just because it's an absolute like banger house track, and I love the like. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> um and then i like yeah. night day homework a lot because i i just like the like uh, the like core sample chop off 
I can't, I can't like, you, it, it's like a, like a nice little vocal chop and it's like really catchy. And I like, like the verses and they just like drop into that. So listen to memory land. It's <laughs> pog champ. And you listen to it again. You sound like a gun. You didn't, you, I will I, listen to it. I need to listen to it like three more times. It's a little, it's kind of long, right? Yeah, it's, it's like an, an hour. hour. An hour. Yeah, Holy it's, shit. it was a rare time where I like actually sat down and just listened to the whole album like all at once with my friend Hayne. I haven't been listening to shit that much. It either. feels good when you do yeah, that. Yeah, I, 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 it was so much fun to listen to. I used to do that. Like I think like last the last two summers, I used to just sit down and lis- listen to like whole ass albums and nothing but that. And like I haven't been doing that lately, which feels kind of bad. That's maybe that's yeah. why my personally my music inspiration has been very low. And I feel like I need to like get back to just listening because that's obviously that's the biggest inspiration is just listening to music. Mm-hmm. Speaking of inspiration, I'm going to go with one of my favorite albums of all time. Top three, probably. But it's um, Oil of Every Pearl's Uns- Insides by Sophie. And great album. Um, I mean, just this album is just every song on it. I think the last song, or it's like, I don't know. It's just every song on it. It's so good, and it just brings like a just a different feeling than you ever had when you listen to music. Like, I guarantee it. Like, if you, I bet you've never like if you've never listened to Sophie or like like experimental music, you've you've never heard of anything like this whole album. It's it's just the most incredible fucking sound design. It, 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 it's intense it's spacey it's i don't know it just makes you feel like a different person and that's and if like there's a whole a whole new world of sounds that's the last song and that's my favorite song the, the 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 last song is like this nine minute long just like absolute fucking banger of like this just I don't know. It's just so cool. I wrote a paper about it actually in my music appreciation class because we got to choose any like composition we wanted, and I just wrote about this like for, like absolute fucking banger of a track and whole new world pretend yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. It like so like it has like two parts, right? And it's just this fucking like I don't know how to explain it. I, I explained it in, in my my writing, but it's just like it's this really intense beat, and it's just very like loud and just like punchy and then it transitions into like this atmospheric like super spacey like world and it literally does it it literally does it nearly flawlessly it's like it's the transition is like you're just like listening you're kind of like in a drone if you do nothing and listen to the song you're just in a drone of like this like this rhythm but then you start to notice everything slowly becoming more spacey and like the rhythm is like getting thinner and thinner and all of a sudden you're just in like this it's an experience this whole album is an experience and it's one of my favorite it's my top three top two albums of all time and yeah rest in peace sophie rest in peace sophie this album i i hadn't ever really sat down to listen with it even though i was aware of it since it's like since around its release like i saw the anthony fantana review and he was like yeah this album's really incredible you should listen to it and then i listened to like part of the first track didn't listen to the rest of it it happens a lot where like something just like doesn't like immediately catch my attention and i'll move on and i hate that about myself but i went back and listened to it uh like earlier this year like late last year around that time and it is it is like truly incredible and i want to listen to it more it's just like to create to like the sound design is so so immaculate it like it's created this whole it like it sophie feels like the progenitor of like hyper pop i know that it like comes from all these different places it comes from this like underground scene and all of this but it feels like sophie was like the moment where like everyone like started to realize they're like we can like we can do this and we can like create this whole like this whole new world <laughs> whole new world <laughs> cuz the track says that and the, that's yeah. you if you listen mm-hmm. to the album it'll say that like it's just whole new world of sound i feel like it's this is like a very big landmark moment and that part of sound my personal favorite track is immaterial just cuz it's so darn like fun and like it it, it has its yeah. like poppy roots it's just such a fun pop yeah, song like, 
Yeah, it just feels like you're on a beach, and it like still has the like really interesting sound design. And I just love like bringing like all this interesting sound design and a lot of like intricate work to like a more poppy tune. Like there's like something to dig into while the tune is like just a very fun pop song. And I also love yeah. that. It's not if it's like abstract, but like if you if some people can't just like listen to like they just they hear it as like noises right they're like oh this is what the noise is but like this is such a, like a you can focus on like the song itself but it's also just like the most unique production you ever heard in your entire mm-hmm. life like if you hear anything if you ever heard anything like sophie you probably is probably after this album and it's probably people taking root and inspiration off of it because this is such a unique sound that sophie invented which is very hard nowadays to make new sounds in in terms of like uh, production yeah. you can make a new sound but not, but not like a whole new sound that's like specific to a style does that make sense like it does it sounds like it just like i've never heard of yeah it's like um, like all the sophie snares they're just like super <clears throat> crazy super metallic and it's just like you think of this and like you think of not just like one sound and one song it's like my snares are going to be like this and like these are the parameters that i'm gonna like have them inhabit and they're all gonna be metallic but they're all gonna like sound different for like each track you know what i mean like being able to like yeah instead it's like my kicks on all of my tracks are going to sound like this and this is like my style and this is a like all putting together to like create this whole new sound yeah it is definitely i respect Mm -hmm. people who can just do that i don't know like i'm as as a producer that's just like that's what you that's what people that's what you strive for as a producer you you strive for like a sound that doesn't exist a bunch like a style that that's that's unique to the world and sophie did that by not even like just not even like a little bit of like a flavor it's like the whole everything sounds different which is incredible like even like the vocal performances are unique the um like the atmospheric stuff is so like the textures are just like I've never heard anything like atmospheric tracks that have like such interesting textures. I don't know. It's just it's an incredible. I could rant about. I mean, I wrote a paper about one song. <laughs> it's not that impressive of a paper. It was it was for a community college class, but I. The point is that I could talk about it for a long time. If I were to write notes, I would I would talk into more detail about each song. But um, yeah. Go ahead and give that a listen. That's that is definitely one that you could sit down and do nothing and just like listen to. Or even have it in the background because they're all like some of them are just like pop bangers. But anyways, that's my crew tunes. Nice. Yeah. Never heard it. So I'm going to check it out now. You guys are really talking it up, so yeah, I'm gonna see how it is. It just it just feels like it, a landmark. It, it's still it's still gotta be. Interesting. Well, if I hate it, then uh, I Fuck guess we, we'll know what's going in the next hot take segment. <laughs> We kill croup <laughs> live probably on podcast. <laughs> yeah. Some people hate it, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Probably. There's always going to be haters for, like, popular yeah. albums or movies. When things are different. Yeah. Angry. I'm angry. Yeah. Let's go to our final segment. Woo. Quick little, a quick little croup spook. <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome back to Croup Spook, uh, the segment where we talk about the paranormal, true crime, etc., theory, conspiracy theories. Today, we're talking about a cryptid once again. I, I, I'll try to do true crime next time. We've been doing a lot of cryptids, so but for now, we're gonna do a cryptid. So this cryptid is called the Cactus Cat. Uh huh. All right, so, huh. so the cactus cat it's a is a very dang, dangerous and deadly creature. It's spotted in deserts around California and Nevada. People describe it as a bobcat-like creature with thorns all around its body, with a branch for a tail. Mm. Ooh, wh- <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Like a tree branch. Pioneers <laughs> would tell stories of these spiky cats roaming the desert at night, slicing open cactuses to get sap which would put these creatures in a drunken state. 
it is also <laughs> it is also known to have loud wail that can be heard at night in the desert. That's it. That's the so, description. Uh, uh, so one. it's a so it's a cat that like <laughs> it's just a drunk spiky cat with a tree branch for a tail. Here, all right, yeah, 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 yes, sounds yes. like a fucking so, Pokemon. Yeah, it looks like one. Look at this picture. I'm gonna send some pictures of them, or like concept art. That's insanity. Man, people... <laughs> each drawing though looks significantly different from each other. Because like this is kind of like a like a 1800s legend. What the fuck? <laughs> like the stories that were told time this, and time. The, oh yeah, that one's <laughs> drunk. Oh the. Yeah, that one's drunk. You see that one? The way he's yeah, dancing? He's dancing yeah. like a little drunk cat. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so it's so just... I, Here's what I think. Here's oh. my headcanon about this guy. So <laughs> some guy had a cat, and he got into the desert. And then he drank the cactus juice and got drunk himself. And he's like, whoa. Uh, wait, when did yeah. you grow a branch for a tail, cat? You... <laughs> Is there any creature that can that has cactus thorns on it? Uh, porcupines. Porcu. Uh, oh, I guess. Not cactus yeah. I feel like people like... who. I feel like cryptids are just a lot of like people are just like on drugs, or, like ate a or, thing. like yeah, thing. like misunderstanding a creature yeah. for something else. Like, I there's like the big saying that people think people that say they saw mermaids were actually just seeing manatees. <laughs> That'd be insane. Huh. So like this could just be like porcupines, but I mean this is also like are in porcupines desert, in the no. desert? No, they're not in the desert. I'm pretty sure this is where are por- hmm. where are porcupines found? Like Forests, in- right? Probably. Like a or like valleys. Rats. I'm looking at zoo. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a rat. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't be a giant rat. They are native to mixed forest habitats in Canada and the northwestern regions of the United States. <clears throat> So they're not. So they're not porcupines in the they, desert. They are. The guy was no, just real cats. Seen cats. Someone got high or drunk and yeah, made some. Or shit somebody up. made up a really dumb BS story to scare kids from going into the desert alone. They're like, yeah, it's a. Well, how would that? I don't know how that would scare anyone. It's, it's like, oh, this cat, cat is gonna drunkenly like bump into you with their thorns and like you're gonna get. Yeah, it's like, not even like yeah. There's not even like a poked. threat with this this cryptid. It's just like. It's a cat. It's a weird looking cat. Ooh. <laughs> I guess technically, since it's a bobcat, it could be dangerous because, you know. It's probably just a regular cat yeah, that looked. a regular bobcat. That was, had yeah, long I, hair and he thought that was spice. Like, I feel like they're, yeah, the yeah. animal. It doesn't sound much more threatening than a normal, like, wild cat, except for that it's drunk and it has spikes on it. <laughs> it's a drunk, it's a drunk yeah. cat. You never know what it's going to do. Whoa! <laughs> Damn, they got a they got a branch for yeah. Tail. That's a dumb. That's oh, a dumb detail. The that detail makes me not scared at all. She's like, oh, it just has a weird dumb branch as a tail. Just break right, it and just kill it. Your tail's weird. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, I don't know why, but it just makes me less scared. Yeah, there's no <sighs> like photo evidence or video evidence of this. Yeah. Cryptid. I don't think there's any eyewitness what uh, evidence, like anyone like saying they saw these things. I think it's just. I think they were just like stories that were passed down from the 1800s. Yeah. And might have just. It's kind of like. I think it's my. It's kind of similar to the jackalope. Have you guys heard of that? I don't think I have. Like the the rabbit with the antlers on it. Oh yeah. yeah. It's probably similar to how that was spread around. Yeah. I wonder what percentage. Is that a real animal? I don't think so. No, that's not real. You no. you you ate the that's onion. That's technically a cryptid too. <laughs> you got tricks. Huh? Yeah. It sounds like a real animal. I think I think there's a percentage of cryptids that could be real, but there's probably a much higher and realer percentage of cryptids that are just the results of a very long game of telephone <laughs> from the 1800s I feel like, and shit. I feel like cryptids are just now like. <laughs> I don't know. They're just so outdated because people can just pull out their cell phone and like take a picture. And if they really yeah. did exist, someone would find it. In That's by now, because there's like well, scientists there's... out there that like study real animals and like discover new animals every day and stuff like that. When there's new photos or videos of cryptids and it's like blurry or shaky, that's how you know it's fake because 
people don't take like photos or videos like that. Like they take out their phone and like it won't look like that. It's yeah. not gonna look like crap like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you get a HD. clear image of what it looks like. Yeah. Well, Agreed. I don't know. What, what what would it take for you guys to think a cryptid is real? It would just have to be convincing. Like I I think Bigfoot yeah. might have been real at some point and is now very dead and gone. <laughs> But I don't know. I I guess I'm just not a very superstitious person like that. So it'd take a lot for me to believe. Yeah. Yeah. It would have to be like a real person, like a scientist or something, saying like confirmed it, or if they got one and had like they just like had one in in captive and I guess at that point when it'd be a cryptid, it would just be a thing. <laughs> you know, very rarely do cryptids ever become an actual. Uh creature that's been like found and documented i think the the only few times that's been that's happened was like the platypus people thought that wasn't real <laughs> it kind of sounds bonkers Shit, right yeah. it's like Shit's a beaver duck I don't believe it. it's like a beaver duck people were like there's no way that's real and the australian beaver duck yeah and then like the giant squid people didn't think that was real but then they actually found them and they yeah, actually exist. Yeah, it'd be like that, like the giant rats. Yeah, any deep the giant. Yeah, the giant rats. That'll giant, come yeah, soon. Giant rats That'll are come soon. soon. If there was like a underwater <laughs> cryptid, it's like yeah, deep under the water, there's the the big old poop fish. It's he's made of all of the poop that we dumped in the ocean. I'll be like, yeah, it's probably real. We haven't been down there. We don't know. Yeah, there's probably something down there. <laughs> the un- the ocean ones are like more believable for mm-hmm. me. Yeah. But if it's, like, in Ohio, like, I haven't seen it. So. Yeah, the Lowland Frogman. Yeah, where the hell are those? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know about that. Dude, I, want the, I want to meet a frogman so bad. Yeah. I want to be outside and just see a frog walking on two legs Ooh, on the I don't sidewalk. Like the, I don't like the dinosaur ones. Like, hey, like, this dinosaur survived all this time and has been living in this lake for thousands yeah, of years. some BS. Yeah, but, like, that's, that's like, already a real thing, though. Like, birds and, like, sharks... They're kind of just like dinosaurs, right? And they just they survive. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. It's evolution. There's people that think the megalodon is still around. You know the the giant. It's like a great white shark, but just like ten times bigger. It used to be used to live in. Um, oh. I don't remember Cretaceous prehistoric. I don't know Jurassic. I, I think there know. might. No I think I, there there might be wrong. like really big weird sharks at the bottom of the ocean. Sure, but. Oh yeah, there's definitely like I feel I don't think we've seen every shark there is. There's tons of shark species out mm-hmm. there. I think there's still more to see. I think we don't we know more about like space than like yeah. the ocean or something like that. Yeah, something we like do. That. Yeah, and that's scary. Which is like insane. I feel like because isn't the ocean just really hard to yeah, explore? Yeah, it's because the, pr- the yeah pressure. the pressure at the bottom of the ocean just is just sucks. too much to like <clears throat> get down there. It's also heat down there, right? When you go I deeper, think so. I don't know. Volcanic. I'm not heat sure. Or yeah, but I think that's right. Yeah, I think it's just like, it's just. I guess like if it's so deep, it doesn't matter too much to us yeah. that much, so we don't try that hard. But like if, but it, but it's just so hard too at the same time. We just don't have like equipment that can handle yeah. that pressure for long enough, and we don't. We definitely couldn't get a person down there just yet. Like maybe with more like technological advancement, but like, yeah, there's also probably just not that much down there for us unless there is like. There's just creepy Magic shit down there. The it's just to go the creeper, the fish yeah. get. It's so big, we don't know, like, know what to look at and you know, like, look for, I yeah. think. Because it's just so... It's deeper than we can like even comprehend, I mm-hmm. think. Yeah. I heard like the bottom of the... like Some parts of the ocean is like miles of just like dead fish, though. Damn. Free grub. It's just like, just like a... <laughs> yeah, it's just like a fucking like, layer of like dead shit. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, creepy. I, mean, I yeah. really do not. If I were asked to like, it's like, would you, you have a chance to explore either the ocean, the bottom of the ocean, you'll be the first person to the bottom of the ocean, or you'll just be another Jamuk that goes out to the moon. I'm going out to the moon every darn day of the week. I am not going to the bottom of yeah. the ocean. I do not care. I'm not trying to meet those fish. I don't know. They're both equally scary, but yeah, the, the, the ocean is definitely scary. I think the moon would be more of a positive experience. Or more possibilities for like, because you can like see the earth and shit, and you can see the sun, and like just like it's a different yeah, like, perspective. But the the ocean I is just like, like, you feel claustrophobic. Yeah, f- yeah, I feel like with the moon you'd come back fine, but the ocean you'd come back 
I think genuinely scared of the ocean, <laughs> or like yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, not like trying to eat or like something. angler fish and shit. That's not my job. Somebody else do it. Yeah, those things are creepy, yeah, man. man. Like, There's they, no way they, those are real. I know they're real, but they just, they seem yeah, like, so no way, they're right? so creepy they looking. Real. Like they got the fucking the lights. Yeah, the flashlight. sharp teeth. They look like bloodborne ca- monsters. <laughs> yeah, I think the ocean's cool though. I'm, I'm I want I want like scary shit to exist in the ocean for some reason. I want like a fucking giant shark to exist. I don't know. I feel like. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think there is something down there. There's no way, we've, like, we've seen everything yet. I hope there's, there's like definitely a, like tons a mile of mile long squid. How awesome would that be? Or like the kraken? Maybe the kraken uh, exists. You know, giant it octopus. Probably is. There's yeah. a giant squid. Maybe there's a giant octopus. What if there's just like a giant like thing that like a manatee or something, like a fat thing. You know, I do believe that there's something wrong with the Bermuda Triangle. Something's going on there. You think so? There's too much that's happened there for it to like be literally. You don't think nothing. it's just the weather is just so bad that people can't. But it can't like, be like permanently that bad. Or is it like super like, natural? I, like people... I mean, yeah, there's definitely crazy stories that's happened there. Like when the, when the that like, team of like planes, I forgot what their name was. They flew through and then they went missing. So they sent a ship to go find them, and then that went missing. Yeah, like that's insane to me. Like, like I, I don't think it's like a gigantic monster or like Bigfoot with like a giant, like a bazooka or some shit. I don't know. But like, I feel like it's, I feel like there's, or it could be weather. It could just be like the the most like randomly insane climate of all time. And I think even that is like, that's like a crazy thing. People that it does that much. There could be like storms that happen there that throws off like. You're like, just like everything, like the planes, like the, the radars, the compasses, like it just, you just get lost or like, I think that's what it is. You get lost and like you end yeah. up going in circles or something and then you run out of fuel and then you sink. People think it's like, like I've heard like stuff, stories right? of, about like, they think it's like, there's like time travel shit going on and like, you're like wormholes and shit. Have you heard Dude, about that? that'd be sick. Oh, I would yeah. Wait. Like, there's no way, right? Like, why is it just in this one place at earth? Mm. It doesn't make sense from like a if you believe in wormholes. Well, may, okay, wait. What if a you know what super genius scientist works on in the Bermuda Triangle, and anybody who enters the area, he just like teleports them to like nineteen twenty, and they get shot or something? I don't know. <laughs> where did where did that Malaysian flight go? The Malaysian Airlines flight. Where that? Oh shit yeah. Go? Did we ever figure yeah, it out? I got. No. I don't think we, we don't know anything. I'm not hungry. Uh, so I went up there and ate it. I don't know. I, I definitely think. <laughs> I definitely think. I don't think people realize how how hard it is to find something once it sinks in the ocean. Yeah. You know how long it took for us to find the Titanic? No. How long did it take? It no, took a while, didn't remember. it? To find it. I feel like we. Sh- I feel like. With our technology, we'd be able to find something like floating around, but I don't think we found anything. We never even found Amelia Earhart's mm. ship, right? Or did we? Oh, uh, maybe we just suck at that shit. Maybe we just maybe we yeah. I guess it's like it's like fighting tiny... a needle in the haystack. Yeah, or... I don't think it's just maybe it's just statistically unlikely. Or have you guys heard of the supernatural? Have you guys heard of the Or Ar- Wrong Madon ship? It's the ship that they found uh, with all their crewmates dead on it. Oh, my gosh. Like, every single one of them were de- was dead. Ooh, there's probably an That's imposter there. It was, like, just just floating <laughs> across the sea. Nobody was alive. That's insane. I don't... Yeah, stuff like that is, like... That's the stuff that I'm, like, what's going on there, huh? Like, is there, like, a secret yeah. society of, like, people from the future just, like, coming back and taking people out? Like, is Amelia Earhart... What's with the, the ocean? Is that in just... 2040? Who knows? Yeah, we like see Amelia just, just like ocean. come into our existence. And yeah, she like, just like, like appears and she's like, I've been teleported to the future and I am here to save you all and the planet. Vote Amelia Earhart for president 2082 <laughs> or some shit. She just like got put up there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there is some weird shit up in the sky. I don't know. Or in the ocean, or in the sky and the ocean. Yeah, there's something going on. Yeah, something. We gotta, I just, yeah, we probably just haven't, like, completely... Yeah, maybe we should figure it out. 
Yeah, yeah the Coop Scoop. Let's, let's go to the Bermuda Triangle Coop Scoop episode special. Yeah, Coop Scoop episode on a boat yeah. or like a yacht. Let's do that. Like our <laughs> in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> What's up, Scoopers? Today we are oh, going to giant, the Bermuda Triangle. Is that a giant tentacle Dude, coming wait, out of the I ocean? I can't wait until Mr. Beast goes to the Bermuda Triangle. It's got to happen. Oh, it's definitely going to happen at some point. Yeah, he didn't eat for 30 days or some shit like that. He, or he tried not. He to. lost partway through. Do you know why he lost? He lost because he went to meet. He went to hang out with Gordon Ramsay and shoot a video. And then Gordon Ramsay's like, worst time. Yeah. And then Gordon Ramsay's like, you'll be the first person who I cooked a meal for who didn't eat it. You gotta take a bite. And then he takes a bite of it, and he's like, yeah, that's incredible. And then he has to spit it out. And that's the worst part. He has to spit it out because if you eat too much after having not eaten for like 16 days, it'll like it like messes up your system or whatever. Yeah, you have to eat a specific thing. Yeah. You can't just I, eat, like, anything. Damn. Yeah, I saw that on A Thousand Ways to Die. There was, like, a terrorist who escaped jail and then, like, eats a feast with his boys and then fucking keels over and dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, the only That's Thousand Ways to Die I remember. That and the one where they, like, are dumped. They're, like, trying to, like, make fake rain in, like, somewhere in Russia or something. And then they're just, like, throwing salt or something out of a plane and then it like solidifies and becomes rocks and like fucking kills somebody and like hits them in the head that's wild yeah thousand yeah. ways to die was a crazy show it would thrive on youtube it's like I mean, you've movie. heard about like giving the kids like that like got out of the holocaust that they rescued out of the holocaust they gave like some of the soldiers gave them like chocolate and like oh no and they ate them they ate like the um something with like with the sugar and just like killed them because they were like starving. That sucks. I would never tell yeah. anybody if I did that. They if just, I like, like gave they a kid out. chocolate. <laughs> if I gave a kid chocolate and then like they die, I'm like, dude. I mean, it's like it's the most <laughs> shit because like they were just trying to give them chocolate. Yeah, it's like you're trying to, nice to do something and... nice and then like I hate that dead kid. That yeah, sucks. That man. I didn't know about that. That's that one sucks. Poor kids. I don't know if it's true. I just heard that a long time. So ago. what are you supposed to eat then? Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I, think I think you just have to like something specific. I don't remember. Like a specific order. You just have to like ease back on to like eating like a normal person, like slowly over time, like gr- eat more and more day by day or something like yeah, that. You, and I don't remember I, though. I think, I think you shouldn't eat carbs though. I think you either eat a fat you know, or like a protein or something like that. I don't know. Something, something to do with carbs is like bad. Mm-hmm. That does something to your like blood sugar and it like fucks it. It fucks up everything. I don't know. Something, something, something like that. I'm not a fucking well, like a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I don't know what's going on. It's crazy, and it's well, been a crazy fun time. That yeah. was a that was a long one for our, for yeah. our return. I guess we we needed a long one. Yeah, right? we were, we're we back. Yeah, long long full form. We needed to get the podcasting out of our system. Yeah, we're really yeah, good we at had, podcasting. We, had to, now, we hadn't been able to talk about any of this stuff for weeks. Yeah, yeah. I haven't yeah. talked to you guys. Weeks for months honestly well i talked to you guys for a we don't talk outside this podcast never get enough yeah guys keep the meta up we we recorded for a whole month straight oh yeah oh yeah the bit yeah the skit no yeah. forgot about that it's real yeah. so it was real to me so. yeah that happened yeah that's real <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we well before we Paladins. wrap before we wrap hayne what's your croup reel for next time movie recommendation um well since last time, if you guys remember, we flipped a coin between Jeffrey's favorite movie, which I want to see, and Chip and Dale, and I wanted to see the other one. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just recommend Jeffrey's favorite movie, which is The Night is Short, Walk On Girl. My favorite anime movie. Favorite anime movie, sorry. No, it's good. <laughs> Cringe. Anime. Why are you cringing at me? We just talked about anime for a long time today. Like anime during this is... podcast. You guys literally <laughs> watch anime. It better not be an anime comedy movie. Shut the hell up. It isn't. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't there better know. be some boobies in it. I don't think there is. Sorry. <laughs> oh, cringe. Cringe. Already cringe. I already don't watch like the it. movie. I'm kidding. But that's, that's the next one. Oh boy, I get to watch my favorite anime the... movie again. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't want to get spoiled, watch the movie before the next episode. Yeah, it's called The Night is Short, Walk on Girl. The subtitles are really fast. Read or watch the dub. Yeah. And that's the scoop. Hey, and that's the scoop.
thank you guys for watching and we will see you next next time. Uh, yeah. See you everybody. Bye bye.